Short Shorts! Hello and welcome to a special events report. My name is Glenn Garrido. And I'm Nathan Sutton. Let's get started with our top story this evening. Super Bowl! Exactly. This past Sunday, the Baltimore Purple Falcons and the San Francisco 39ers face off in the biggest Super Bowl of the year. Both sports groups played up to par, but in the end it was John Harbo and Sugar Ray Lewis against Jim Harbo and the rest of the 59ers. The brotherly feud created an interesting game, to say the least. In the first two nickels of the game, the Ravens seemed to almost dominate the 29ers, leading the game to 7-3, and then 21-6 before ending the half. The 79ers also scored, but they decided to play actual football and kick the ball for some three-pointers. After some decent sports stuff happened, came what everyone actually watches the Super Bowl for. The, the halftime show. show. And this year's Super Bowl performer was Beyonce. And needless to say, she brought the thunder. Na, 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 na. She brought sexy back. Bow, 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 bow. And she brought Destiny's Child. And who knew that Beyonce's clones would be so not as hot as her? Despite the absolutely enthralling first and second innings of the Super Bowl, there's no doubt that Beyonce's performance was much better than both teams up to that point in the match. And Destiny's Child's brief reunion on the Super Bowl halftime stage was the most surprising thing to happen that night. They performed together for a whole three seconds until Beyonce realized she was the only one with any real talent and waved the other two ladies off the stage. The halftime show had perfect lighting, the pyrotechnics were hot, and the stage nine was phenomenal. It was probably one of the best in years. After that, people pretty much just sat around and waited for the Super Bowl to be over. Evidently, the halftime show was so awesome that it blew the power in the stadium. However, it's clear that this was all just a clever advertising move for Oreo. It's falsely reported that Oreo paid over $1 trillion to have the power cut off in the stadium. $1 trillion? Don't you think that's a little excessive? Well, I'm, I figured one could say that Oreo's wallets were double stuffed. Wow. You took a long time to come up with that. How long did you work on that? Well, Nathan, you wrote this part of the script. I wrote everything else. Whatever. Blame all the bad jokes on me. Anyway, uh, more sports stuff happened in the second half of the game, and the 89ers apparently came back or something. Yeah, the second half wasn't really all too interesting. Bottom line, the Ravens won. And from a darker part of our studio is our Ravens analyst, Blake Childers, with a full recap of the Ravens' performance. How about those two sexy devils? Thanks, you guys. The Baltimore Ravens held on last Sunday to take home the team's second Lombardi Trophy at the expense of the San Francisco 49ers. The Ravens' 34-31 win over the Niners was spearheaded by their quarterback, Joe Flacco, who took home the title of game MVP. Flacco completed 22 of 33 passes for 287 yards and 3 touchdowns. Flacco's favorite target was Anquan Bolden, who had 6 receptions for 104 yards and a touchdown. But don't forget Jacoby Jones and his postseason record 108-yard kickoff return to start the second half. A key interception by Baltimore safety Ed Reed marked the only interception to ever be thrown by the 49ers in a Super Bowl. The Baltimore offense was solid all night and it looked like they would surely come out on top with a 28-6 lead in the third quarter. Then the lights went out in one of the most interesting twists in Super Bowl history. After the outage, the Ravens were outscored 25-13 to in the second half and allowed 468 yards of offense to the Niners on the night. The Ravens' D was not flawless. Linebacker legend Ray Lewis also struggled getting in on only 7 tackles, but they stopped the Niners when they had to and went back to Baltimore champions. Thanks you guys, I'm Blake Childers. Thanks Blake. Well, that about wraps up our special report on the Super Bowl. And if you want to watch more, make sure to watch our reactions while watching the Super Bowl by following the link at the bottom of the page. This has been a Viking Fusion special report. I'm Nathan Sutton. And I'm Glenn Garrido. And on behalf of Blake Childers, stay classy, Barry College.
los terroristas. Shit.